Hello guys, it's SharkHunter21, bringing you some more Dragon Age Origins. Uh, when we last left off, I believe um, we had, we were uh, up on the beacon, or no, we, had, we were lighting the beacon up on the tower. Um, Loghain's forces had pulled out when King Kalen really needed them. So the king's dead, uh, Duncan's dead, and as far as I know, it's just uh, myself and Alistair left. Um, with thanks by Morgan and her mother, apparently. Or solely her mother, really. Well, Morgan healed us. So, yeah. At least allegedly. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm hoping this time it works. I've tried to record this properly. This I think this makes the fourth attempt now, so I'm begging to God it does it right this time. Uh, if not, I'm going to go insane. Please. She. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. What's up, buddy? You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Let's see. Um, hmm. I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? The damn sure it has. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, while it's good that you did save us, the real question is, why? So, why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Hell no. Let's see. Um, hmm. Of course not. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Let's see... Hmm. What could the Tyrion hope to gain by betraying the King? The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Hmm. <clears throat> Arl Eamon? The Arl of Redcliffe? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My voice is kind of off and on right now. Everyone will see the danger the plight poses, right? You could wait for the Archdemon to make its appearance. I imagine that might be convincing. <laughs> it's been centuries since the last blight. Nobody will take it seriously until it's too late. Let's see. Um, we need the rest of the Grey Wardens. I don't know how to contact them, or, or if they're even on their way. We need to do something now. You have more at your disposal than you think. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a Blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Well, fuck, why not then, huh? Uh, let's see, uh, <coughs> yeah. 
Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then. Ready to be Grey Wardens. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Yes. Thank you for everything, Flemeth. No, no. Thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Thank you, but if Morgan doesn't wish to join us... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Let's see, uh, hmm. <laughs> Was this your idea all along? Pardon me. But I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, <clears throat> this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Okay. Well... She won't come to harm with us. Allow me to get my things, if you please. Yeah, sure. Go for it, of course. Hey, Jake, what's up? I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> No, I prefer you speak your mind. Ha <laughs> ha, you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Uh... We need all the help we can get. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Actually, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. <laughs> Never mind him, you don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's Charmed Rabbit from here on out. <laughs> Let's see. How are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. Oh, well... Isn't that just fan-fucking-tastic? I don't sense any darkspawn, though, so... You won't right away. No. It takes time. No oh, shit. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. Okay. Let's see. Um, hmm. Tell me about this village to the north. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. 
It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A Chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. <laughs> um, have you never been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Huh. Let's see. <clears throat> Are you really Flemish daughter? Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? More or less, I suppose, but, uh, you know, I'm just wondering her age. She would no more tell me than you, I assure you. <laughs> I have no more questions. Farewell, mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. <laughs> It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. <laughs> all right, so now we can really begin. Uh, let's get a quick look around this swamp or bog-like area. Eh, looks delicious. All of it. Uh, now, real quick, let's, um, I think I've got some gear I could change out here. So, let's see. Yep, let's, uh, switch that. Yep, that two. And this. Yes, sir. There we go. Now my armor doesn't look quite so horrible. And then we got Morgan. We'll give her that. And... Let's see. That. Oh, you don't have any boots or anything. Let's fix that real quick. Give me some gloves. And... Let's see. There's that. And I think we're good. Alright. Yeah. We're all set for now. Alright, but let's talk to Flemeth real quick before we get out of here. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. You know, actually, just maybe a taste, a spoonful, a, a bowl. Give me the pot. You could come with us, you know. Oh, I prefer to remain here. Considering what the world has done to me, I have already done more than it deserves. And what has the world done to you? That is between the world and me. Your business is elsewhere. Okay, fine. But you're more powerful than we are. It is not a matter of power. No one person in all of Thedas has enough power to stand against a blight. Were that the case, sending you two would be quite the jest. What is important is that you are both Grey Wardens. Your task is to unite the land, inspire its men, and turn them from their petty politics to face the Archdemon. In that, you are more powerful than I, by far. I am but an old woman whom the world has largely forgotten. Huh. Could you answer some... Could you answer some questions? Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. <sighs> I can't help if I'm quizzical about you. Sorry. Um, can I ask about your magic? What good would it do you? You are no maid. It is sufficient that I have passed on my knowledge to Morrigan, and I pass her on to you. Like a worn dress, or an old pair of shoes. Are you still here? Mm. You cannot give them away, apparently. <laughs> Let's see, how long have you lived in the wilds? Since before I was wrinkled and old. <laughs> you may think it strange, but I was once young and beautiful, just as Morrigan is now. Yes. Men desired Flemeth then, and some even killed for her. Hmm. You don't seem happy about that. I am not, nor was I then. It dictated all that followed. But enough. 
You have your task to complete. No, I have questions that need answers. What will you do once we're gone? Oh, have a moment's peace for once. I hear the peace of the grave is eternal. This is the thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Bah! May your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. <laughs> Do you have any advice? About the dark spawn? Well, yeah, there we go. About anything, really. Then hear this. I laugh at a world full of stupid humans who ignore the Blight's evil and abandon their vigilance to chase mortal goals. Remember, it is up to you to destroy the Blight. Pray not for someone else to destroy it. It will always nip at your heels. I had no more questions. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Oh, <laughs> some dinner. All right, but now we can continue on um, and head off into the world, finally. Good deal. Let's see. Content. Yep, venture forth. All right, and this is pretty cool here. Uh, this is going to be our overworld map um, where we can select where to go. Right now, we can only go to uh, Lothering or Lothering. Um, but after that, we'll be able to go to just about anywhere, really. Um, but one of the cooler things in this map is right down here where Flemeth's hut is at, and you can see that black scar thing kind of pulsating. That thing's going to grow, and that's actually to signify the blight, that it's moving and growing, and we'll see that happening later. But for now, let's just go ahead and go for the Lothering. Let's get this show on the road. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. <laughs> Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Bannon will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Oh, snap. But really, that's a good indication that, thankfully, all of Ferelda is not blindly following him. Thank God. Some people still have their wits about them. Except for these guys here. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I guess that fellow is the leader. Haha, <laughs> you guess right. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. Oh, no. Um, hmm. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. 
What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Honrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Yeah. You're toll collectors, then. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? You're fixing the highway. I think not. Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, see? Really? Oh, do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. <laughs> Forget it. I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Oh, those are the rules. Okay, well. <laughs> and this is why I love having the uh, persuasion abilities. They just, they're, they're going to give you plenty of great options like this. Um, I won't do a lot of the intimidate unless I'm needed to, but for instance, do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But aren't them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. Oh, really? Uh, see, and here it is again. Persuade working for us. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember? Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. Let's see. Uh, yeah. An excellent donation. Thank you. Uh, then take it. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. 